He got it, baby. He got a buzz for the morning. <laughs> All right, All right, brother. Have a great morning. Dennis is new to radio this morning. Yeah, I'm talking into the head. Talking into the headphones. It's like he's got a CD. Yeah. Break one, man. Come in. Let me ask you this: When did you realize? When did you realize? Okay, I think I think I've made it. Has there been a time? Well, you know, it's been a roller coaster, Ray. You know, it's like I thought in my earlier earlier times. Even when it was in the blue and gray, I said, God, I've got this. I'm going to make this. Never thought I'd go this far. All I was looking for was a five-year run of playing trucks, and I've got to grow up sometime. And, I, and, and, I, the, and, purse, and, and the cash purse. Yeah, yeah, and, and it was, the, it was the, cash per, the cash purse that I used to get. That's how I got my nickname, One Run Anderson. They paid <laughs> $750 for the fastest qualifier. My crew guys would stand back and cuss me almost every weekend and go, why did you just hold it on the floor? Why did you run so hard? I turned around and looked at them and said, are you guys idiots? We're getting 750 bucks. That will get us home. That will get us here, get us home, pay for everybody's yeah, food. Some and, 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 and Yeah, and, and we're good. So if I could, if I could capture after that, you know, I was covered. And anything else after that was a bonus. You know Great. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, well, then I figured out my crew guys kind of were right. But I would trash that truck. Oh, yeah. But, you know, in the end, that's when I started selling the the T-shirts, you know, because people say, well, what, what do you do for a living? I said, well, I didn't want to just say play trucks all the time. I said, well, I'm actually, I'm a cotton salesman. <laughs> and <they> go, really? <laughs> I said, yep. And I said, I sell T-shirts. Really? You got to, yeah. I said, yep, I sell T-shirts. Yeah, but I got to, yeah, I got to sell it. And this is my, this is my promotional. This is my, uh, my, 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 my marquee is a hundred thousand dollar monster truck. And I drive it in the ground. So my fans will buy a T-shirt. Has there ever been a point when you thought, okay, I don't, I, early on, I don't want to do, I can't do this. this is yes. Not, I got to get a real job. It, no, a absolutely, Ray. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not joking you, man. I, I went I went financially on the bottom and never wanted anybody to know that, you know, how, how because people, pe pe people don't want to, they don't want to deal with a broke guy that they're afraid they're not going to get paid from. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when I'm down there trying to get engine parts and valves and camshafts and all of that stuff, you know, I'm like, oh, please, God, I, I, I got to win. I've got to get this money. I've got to pay these guys. You know, and I just always took this risk and just stepped out there. I felt like a junkie for this truck, you know, and I was just so dedicated to it that, um, you know, anything, anything, anything that I ever done, man, was just purely for that truck, you know, and, and, and it paid off. But to answer your question, there has been more than five times, seriously, that I was throwing in the towel and I really did throw in the towel in the TNT get days and I was out of commission for about three months and I, when I was working over at the uh, chemical plant across the road, spreading fertilizer and all this stuff, you know, for the farmers. And TNT Motorsports said, man, we need you. We need your truck back here. I said, you know, I said, listen, I said, it'll take me about, a, you know, probably about six months to, you know, six or eight months or whatever for me to get back up. And I got to save up some money. I tore up my truck. It's broke up. So they said, okay, listen, we're going to send you some money. So those guys, and that was the first money that I ever got, any kind of big money. They sent really? me, they sent me ten thousand dollars. I was going crazy. I was telling the fertilized plant. I was just brushing my hands off. Oh, I'll see y'all awesome. later. I'm gonna go back and play trucks again. You Thank know? God and, they and, did. And that was it. Was Billy Joe Miles? He was the owner of TNT. Hail to Motorsport. Billy Joe Miles. And he he was the one that picked me up, put me back out on the track in front of my fans. And um, so in and, and it was times like that, you know. That um, when when it got when tough when the, when the tough got going, man, I just had somebody to pick me up, brush my knees off, and say, "Hey, baby, we got it. Let's get it going again."